Look at this. Another, another dead person. It is day two. And I believe we are now past everything that's been covered in the alpha. I think we're finally into new territory. I'm a little hesitant to continue because I've read that people have already lost main characters on day two. And I suspect that is exactly what's going to happen to us. Uh, the crowd of gawkers, the dead item shop, dead item. What is this dead item? Kind of want to go there because we don't really have anything else to do. <clears throat> I don't know what that does. That mean an hour has passed. We need to figure out where we're going. Uh, eh, no, we got blood. I don't know why. We're gonna need something. Dump. All of this stuff. So, head left, cross the thing. I just. It's so sinister sounding right now. Let's see. No. This way? Yes. You know, there's this person standing here with the cow. Let's talk to them. Loy. Hey, no kern. Ikara, you are a good man. Buy my bowl! Why would I want a bowl? It's not just any bowl, it brings luck. When the time comes, it'll tell you what to do. I can talk then? Inint, it is known. It will talk on the scariest day of your life, showing you the right way. Ekaralda, I'd rather not have it at all. Perhaps there won't be a scary day in my life then. Um, so you're selling a curse on four legs. Great, I'll take it from you if you pay me. Take him for 200. It's a good bowl, Bikara. It'll be useful for you. I don't even have a place to keep it. Pay me now and I'll bring it to your place later. There'll come a day when it'll be grateful to me. I mean, the scariest day of my life. Uh, that was funny, Kyla. Go sell your bowl to Big Vlad. He has a lot of money. You know what? Let's buy this. Let's buy this bowl. How much money do we have? Haha, <laughs> 64. Awesome. Let's go to this dead item shop and see what we can sell there. Are we? Yeah, we're pretty close. Gotta look for a. Gotta let the stamina build up again. Oh, I am tempted to turn off the stamina, and there are dead children here. Why? Is there dead people here? Is this an evil place? Place of evil where they just lie people out? They're not dead children, they're just dead people. <laughs> but there will be plenty of dead children once I'm through with this place. Birds just wheeling around. So, they would all know. They would all... Oh no, what I'm gonna... Never mind, I'm not gonna try. Not gonna try to harvest from them. If I get desperate enough, I will, though. Alright, I think this is the dead shop. Dead item shop. Ah, my fellow traveler, I suspect this is not the last time we chat. Uh, I recognize you, so you're a merchant. I dabble in buying and selling, but I have no use for coins, though I often find I have two to rub together. I collect things. Things that are old, broken, discarded, dead items, memories, husks, and husks of memories, traces. Oh, this person by <laughs> this corpse behind me also has these things. It's your rag and bone man. It's good work. When a rag and bone man does the rounds, no door stays shut. Who keeps useless junk? Everyone's happy to see me. Everyone trusts me. It makes for peaceful harvest. Aren't you afraid of being out at night? I only work nights. It's a ripe time for corpses. Does it frighten me? No. Nor should it frighten you. The town changes each, each night, turns into a different place to explore. What was open during the day closes, and what was closed opens. Um, I have no fear, only insomnia. 
Let's trade. I'm not giving that to you. Although, what will you give me? And wiring. A ring. What is the point of a ring? I have nothing to trade with you, but let's see if you'll trade for these things here. Broken items. Foul things. Oh, you do want this. That's a nice six. I... I don't know. Oh, and you want that too. It's a nine. Oh, that's a twelve. Nine. Fifteen. Now we got eighteen. You know what? I need some canned food. Where's the canned food? Could I not fit the canned food? Oh, it's big. That's what she said. Uh, it takes up four spaces. What can I discard? Bloody lockpick. Okay, I get it. Springs. I'm just gonna eat it anyway. Hope. Oh, that helped. Alright. We're... Less hungry than we were before, and unfortunately there's no more. Ooh, loot, loot, loot. Ooh, I got all of this. Just sitting here. Let's take that and that and see what we can buy. You, uh... Wirein. Review places and events hidden from the naked eye. Or we can buy bullets or a ring. Let's get a ring. For who? I don't know. On the ground? Is it there? No, it's there. Let's see. And we got that. No, we're gonna leave that. Alright. I feel like this has been really useful. Thank you, dead body, for all your stuff. Useless to you, useful to me. Um, so Twyrein... Is there really still anything to do over there? You know what, let's go for it. Let's... Let's go see what we can get. Am I thirsty? Yes, I am. I have no place. No place. Dang it. Uh, what do I not need? I don't need coffee. How do I... Use it. Stick that there. Stick. Oh, oh. Aha. There we go. Hold up. We got. Or maybe we should go feed the blood place. Or maybe we should drink some Twyrine or whatever. You know, I'm on the fence about all this. Let's talk to this person, say they'll trade. Trade! What? Who are you? Ask for repairs? You can't repair anything, and... <clears throat> I don't want marbles. I'm sorry. Someone yelling? Uh, okay, town hall. There's like chanting or something. Is it over here? It's worth it. No. Over here. <gasps> I just gotta gotta slowly walk everywhere. Or was that just ambient sounds in the background? I'm starting to think that was just ambient sounds. Alright, where's where's Laura's place? 
get through over here. Uh oh. Can't move. Day two, in which the horse fixes roots are un unearthed. Um, Boo's Vlad took an interest in me. He might know something useful. It's been foretold I will spill a river of blood soon. <laughs> uh, I guess someone will find their death under my knife after all. If you hear the earth grumble, find the source. Stand still, she will show her roots. Act two. The one in which bad things happen. Yes. Alright, let's uh, go spill some blood. On those roots. That's always exciting. Am I in the right place? Yeah, get past here. Trade with the child. Oh, children, trade with me. I want morphine, and you want marbles, yes. And chalk. Thank you for the morphine, children. You, I, no, you, you creep me out. You, you want soap? Soap? Sure, I'll take a needle. You take my broken scissors. Thank you, child. Wait, 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 you didn't give me the needle, did you? Oh wait, there's more than one needle. Take it. You are my favorite child. Bring me more needles next time. Um, you know what? Let's leave that open just in case we ever need one of those slots. Need slots. Like it? Think we're doing good now. Go. Uh oh. It's chanting. Sky is turning red. The earth is angry. Where is. I spilled it. Oh, there it is. Is there any more? Come on, earth. Don't be stingy. Don't be stingy, earth. Want some more of that blood twire. Brown and blood twire. You no, know, we're doing good. We're doing good with inventory management. Hey, you. Uh, let's, let's... Ooh, you got walnuts. Can be munched down with little effect. The kids here would sell their souls for a handful. You want stuff I don't want from you. What do you have to say? Where go you, friend? What plan is next to follow? Um, actually, I don't know what to do. What say the townsfolk? Uh, who cares about their babbling the townsfolk? Uh, they're so alike, aren't they? A backdrop. Faceless. They surely know nothing important, right? I've swarm a flock. No use for names. Whatever one knows, they shall all know in turn. Um, hive? The crowd is but a many-headed beast, a hydra. Like it or not, you are but one such head. They know you better than you know yourself. Have you heard them, Barak? Communication? See how it find how it means finding a common ground. Um. Oh yeah, they were so eager to communicate with me yesterday. My ears are still ringing. They know. They all know something of your tale, Barak, and from each one, a different strand of it. Some know where you're to go. Others will say why you must go, and some will warn of danger, terrible danger, that you may avoid it. Um. So, I'm the only one who knows nothing. That is because you are alone, Barak. Confused, alone, losing the plot, Barak. Does not the map of your own mind suffice? Then talk, communicate. Hear, hear me now, teensies and tots. The young, town's own young indeed already know who waits for you today. If you still doubt, then speak to any one child. Um, I guess I should go looking for children. Where are you, children? Here they are. Child, what's going on? Here I am. There you are. Here I am. Uh, you need to see Capella. Soon, soon, soon. Who's Capella? Our mom. Big Vlad's daughter. My dad works at his factory, you know. Why do I need to see her? 
because short I'd give you candy but I'm all out all right uh an incredibly reputable source has informed me that I need to see Capella Olgimsky's daughter simple townsfolk know more than it seems if I'm unsure what to do I should talk to them okay you townsfolk speak no you just want to trade what do you want to trade oh my god you got toast and you want what? Oh, immunity boosters. Oh. Ooh, I need that toast, though. Shh. About that instead. Okay. Fine. Immunity booster it is. You, good sir. Speak to me. My wife was killed yesterday. How can I look her children in the eyes now? I've lost the right to be called their father. I hope it wasn't me. Uh, I'm sorry. I could have been assertive, think faster when it went down. I could have, could have acted quickly, efficiently. Indeed, instead of staying in my head, if only. <laughs> you know, this is true for me too. I need to be bolder. Live on, pow, for the children. Won't anyone think of the children? Let's see what Laura has to say. And then we'll see uh, what old Gimsky's daughter is going to chat with us about. But now we know children serve a purpose. Well, Gimsky. And we gotta talk to Vlad. Big, big Vlad. Let's save. Uh-oh. It has begun. Is she dead already? Where's the... Show me the people! No. Where's Laura? Did she restock her stuff for me to loot? No, she didn't. Well, curses. Is she gonna have breakfast ready for me? Probably not. Oh, yes. Nope. Empty. Laura. Where do you store your stuff? Or is she hiding it from me? I feel like she might be, um... Maybe she doesn't have a whole lot. Maybe she's one of those people that believes not to hold on to their junk. Because someone like... This guy might come around looking for it. Anything? Just want some toast? Food? Pretty sure I'm starving again. Yes, I've fought off hunger. Not in the green. I will admit, I am tempted to turn off the hunger meter. It is a pain to deal with. I'm gonna leave those two alone. I'm gonna let them deal with what they're dealing with. I mean, the guy just lost his, his, uh, his wife. I'm not gonna judge what he's gonna be doing with his time. Okay, how do, how do I want to approach this? Alright, I don't want to... You look different. Let us talk. I sent my little rats to get groceries this morning. They still haven't come back. I wonder if they think food will miraculously buy itself. Well, you trusted rats to do it. Are you out of food? Have you been living under a rock, darling? Prices are soaring. Salt, salt costs twice as much today as it did yesterday. Obviously, they haven't learned how to harvest salt from the tears of children. And where's the grain? I haven't seen wheat in a week. Really, what could happen next? There's still no train. People are worried. What if it never comes? We'll all starve. And her name is Starling. She looks super sad right now. Why don't you go get groceries yourself? More reliable than children. Um. How can I... Be in all places at once, huh? I have to send the kids. They're probably at that station of theirs. Thank the heavens they're not in the tower, at least. Just don't have the heart to whip them. What station? <laughs> it's a place to hang out, waiting on trains. Better than that damned tower. Why don't you go there and fetch them? I don't want to meddle. No, it's alright. At least they're in town, staying close. My neighbor hasn't seen her children, and... 
Oh, I don't know how long that damn tower took them all. I'm, I'm very curious about this tower now. Uh, thanks for reminding me about the, uh, prices. You want to trade? I don't have food. You have an apple. I want your apple. What do you want? You want a ring? Is there any point to this ring? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say now. Just gonna say now. Sorry, yeah. What do you have? No, you got toast. I don't want to give you my stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll run around here. Eventually get some place. Probably. Oh, oh, the grumbling. That's right, the grumbling means there's herbs nearby, yeah? Listen for the grumbling, they said. So, I guess uh, the grumbling just means roots have come up. If I want to uh, feed the roots, but I don't have blood right now, so we're not going to do that. Oh, but there's some. Nope, nope. All right. Anything over here? Nope. What about you? Rhinestone. Used to sharpen thing. I want to use... No? What? Okay, we'll just hold on to it. Put it over here. And... Yes, we'll pass through. Passing through, gotta go talk to Capella Olginski. I don't know why I pronounce- Oh my god, what's going on? Why are you guys- Hey! Oh, uh, where do you think you're going, buddy? Um, just wanna ask something. Everyone here wants to ask something. I'm not here to join the watch, I'm a doctor. I don't give a damn. Wait for your turn like everyone else. Uh, must be nice to have all the time in the world. Do I- what is going on? Hey, guys, what's going on? You, talk. Subarov sure seems ready to take up the reins of power. It's about time if you ask me. Why is that? Because you can't trust people, that's why. The rule of the three families was about trust in each other and in the townsfolk. The damned nobles trusted people to govern themselves, and the people, they are unruly beasts. They don't respond to kindness, only strength. Uh, speaking of strength, how do I join the town watch? Open your eyes, the lion's right there. Why does Subarov need so many people? To maintain order, of course, to prevent yesterday's nightmare from ever happening again. Olginski only cares about what he owns. The Canes treat the whole family, whole town as family. <laughs> they treat the whole family as town. No wonder they got soft, and now they're all getting their comeuppance. So you think people are untrust unworthy of trust? Our rulers were kind and lenient. Where did it get us? Yesterday blood flowed like water and a woman was burned to death at the bone steak lot. Trust, pah. Leniency leads to corruption. What we need is someone who can keep the rabble in check. And then you end up with authoritarianism. It wasn't kindness who killed those people. I really have to wait in line. I don't have time for this. I don't have time. To be in the town watch. Where am I going? I'm hearing something. I don't know what that growling sound is. It's kind of getting louder. It's weird. Well, anyway, we're almost there. My throat is already hurting. Oh, I'm suddenly thirsty. Well, let's use it. This... No, I, I got a ways to go. Might as well walk it out. More grindstones. Grindstone kind of day today. 
Ooh, just hidden, hidden trash full of nothing. Okay. Here I think, oh, this is it. Hello, good person. Ugh. Kyura. Fat Vlad said the Olginskis got you in their pocket. Tell me, then. The hell's going on at his factory? Why did it shut down? Will we still be paid? I don't know anything. I don't work there. He said you're his protege. That no one touch you means he has plans. Exactly. So uh, I see, I'll see. I'll take care of it then. Meow. Meow to you too. Uh, marbles. I don't know why you think I want marbles or a safety pin. Where? Where am I? Okay, it's over here. What is this place anyway? Do I? I don't know. Do I enter in a different route? I don't know. So, I can jump my way up this ladder. No, never mind. Never mind. Let us know. Let's still trade with her, though. Needles, and you want my stuff. Can't repair anything. You are not. You are not useful to me. What's uh? What's going on, you guys? Funeral attendant. Hey, uncle. Dig a hole for us, will you? What for? We need it. This is actually hard work. What would be my reward? A burial gift. Everyone gets to take something away from a funeral. That's why you were holding it. Are you burying a cat? Yeah, I mean, no, not a cat. Then whom? Just the eighth. The eighth what? Well, the previous seven were already pushing the daisies and nothing bad happened when we buried them because the holes were shallow. I guess shallow ones are allowed, all right? I'll dig you a hole. And thus, we hold a funeral for the eighth. Crap, what is going on? Are we back at the theater? Don't know what to expect. We're at the theater. Do I have to walk all the way back? I hope not. They doing. Artemy disappeared after digging the hole for them. Just, why? Why is this happening? I just realized my cat is snoring. So quiet, I can hear her snore. Well, that was odd. Can I take the shovel? Okay, kiddos. Um, thanks for the weirdness, but I would like... Say you're going to give me something. Can I take the shovel? Guess not. Okay. I'm going inside. There's a door here. It... I'm just going to... Awkwardly walk away from them. I think this is the way to go to get to uh, Capella. Now there's several doors. Not that door. Not that door. Nope. Didn't. Oh, hey. Hello. Are you Capella? If you tarry, you will die unshriven. Unshriven. Oh, Yulia Lierchkava. Yulia, are you? And you are? Artemy Burak, a doctor. 
How can I help you? Uh, you have incredible eyes. Who are you? The Canes had a rather unusual notion of how they wanted the town's routes planned. They believe the routes of choice influence people's mood, their soul state. I found the challenge intriguing, if a bit insane. So, the town streets are your doing. Not all of them, but yes, to some extent. Why the hell did you make the town so awkward to navigate, then? Canes imply that the town already has every er, something akin to a nervous system. They suggested I view it as a huge living creature, so my job was acupunctural. Do you take the Keynes' ideas seriously? Well, they have built the polyhedron, haven't they? There it is. I was even allowed to ascend it, though I wasn't allowed inside. The cathedral, the crucible, the still water, all those buildings are machines that work with the same idea. What idea is that? When a person finds themselves in a relatively enclosed space, it influences the inner state in a certain way. It's no secret. The Canes are trying to create buildings that enhance spiritual growth. As in? Well, we're moving to the field of philosophy now, but not my area, area of expertise. But as far as I can tell, in their eyes, humans aren't paragon of animals or rather larvae. They believe the human spirit is a spring to be stretched. Their favorite image. Why stretch it? To make people desire new things, weird things, things beyond their limits. People do that their whole lives anyway. Let's see what this means. Oh, we got, got her. Okay. He's an important character. Some evenings, kids gather at the station. I guess I, I can go there looking for things. Alright, well. Place is a maze. A maze, I tell you. Can't go there, let's go up. When in doubt, go up. Save. Okay, we will talk in a little bit. I just need to see if you have some food before I pass out from hunger. I mean, your father owns a bunch of meat. Can I have some food, please? Yes. Uh, aren't you... Are you Artemy Barak? Greetings! Greetings to you, too. Are you Olgimsky's daughter? Yes, my name is Victoria. But friends call me Capella. Well, are we friends? Yes. Really, how did you figure it out so fast? I can see. I have eyes, so I can see. I haven't yet mastered the art of seeing with my eyes, but I do see things. <laughs> this thing, sometimes, sometimes I can see things. Eyes are complicated. It's a gift I inherited from my dear mother. So, you've mastered the art of uh, sight. Let's go with the clairvoyance one. I mean, it's hard to explain. Sometimes I know what a person will say before they say it. I know you're going to ask me out, hint, hint, or I imagine a situation, and the next day it unfolds exactly how it was in my, oh my god, is this, like, a dating simulator in the plague? Is that, uh, yeah. It's like the plague version of a dating simulator. That's what it turns out to be, because the void turned out to be a complicated dating sim. Fun. Very, very difficult. So, I'm going to be highly amused if that's what this turns out. Uh, sometimes I even know past events I wasn't present for, like which drawer father puts papers in two years ago. A powerful gift, if you're telling the truth. Not that powerful, not with me. Not like my mother. She could see it all, see it at will. Although even with her, it could be fickle. I only see rarely, and I don't control it at all. I see! <laughs> I totally see. Your undue sarcasm has been noted. It's not so rare a gift in this town. There were once several women who could see. Mother, Nina Kena. 
Katerina Subarov, Sabarov. Perhaps outsiders arrive with such skepticism, but they are always soon astonished. Uh, astonish me then. You likely aren't afraid of blood, right? Of course not, I'm a surgeon! And I killed people! Do you know what I see? Under your feet, the hard soil acts as though spring melt, each step forming an imprint filled with red. You leave pools of clotted blood in your wake, Artemy Barak. I thought this about must be about the murderers, but you are no murderer. What does it all mean? You're asking me? I have no idea. Well, that was enlightening. She is one of the nerves. Yes, those two are the nerves. Sticky. Sticky the nerve and murky the nerve. And no one else has been the blood. We haven't met the blood yet. All right. Oh, you got. Vagrant has bestowed her crude grace upon the Saburos. You have more to say. Ah, uh, why have you come? Are you looking for my brother, perhaps, or do you want me to ask something of my father? Um, I need nothing. I sense sadness in your eyes. Have you been crying? Aside from I need food, please. Oh, our. Family's just falling apart. Father and brother argue all the time, louder and crueler with each passing day. Brother is angry with me. Everything went awry after mother's death. Um. Everyone, why is your brother angry with you? Brother acts against father's will. Your kin make up most of father's workforce, but he doesn't treat them well. So brother argues with him, but father hates to be challenged. He says... He'll disinherit my brother. Making you the heiress, right? So I should pick you and court you. Wrong! <laughs> Mother never wanted that, and father honors her will. Still does. Another family torn apart. Your brother, is he home? I think he's in the Broken Heart now, in the Earth District. Actually, he frequents the place ever since Mother died. Don't despair. Even a torn family can be sewn back together. Perhaps grief can be the common thread, and I will be the... the surgeon. Alright. Olginski's heir spends his days in a pub called the Broken Heart. I went there. I didn't see anything. I guess we'll speak to Vlad and we're done talking to her. Let's see if that Yulia person has anything to say further. About the state of things. Hello. You just live here on the balcony? Okay. Let's go see Big Vlad. Maybe he has some food for us. Why is no one feeding us? I had to get some toast from Julia. Is that her name? No, Laura. God, it's mixing up names now. I had to get some to toast that I found in a cupboard from... She, she horrible bed and breakfast. I'm gonna give her... I don't know how people rate things on Airbnb. I've never, never used it. I don't want to talk to you. I just want, I want to trade. What do you want? I want morphine. No, I want one of these. I want that and morphine. It's just one of those days. I guess I got to pick. Gods. They're both the same. I'll take this. All right. No one cares about me. Just... Want to go around? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Get around. I think people are chanting. It's kind of weird. Nope, can't even access the front yard or the front door through there. Okay. Apparently, doesn't help the stamina. Okay, I, I just want to move. Sometimes I, I hit a button, direction key, and it, nothing happens. It's a little frustrating. Okay, big, big booers. You finally have some food for me? I keep forgetting that you have to talk to them multiple times. Uh, well... Under these circumstances, uh, any inheritance would be uh, opportune. 
Stop running around, my boy. No need for you to leave. I won't chain you up, but believe me, out there, you'll just make a mess. Ah, uh, where's my father? I need to... I need to see his body. Well, he might have been put in the ground already. Your people never linger with the rites of death, and he's fallen back asleep. They bury the deceased immediately like a seed, yes? And if you take too long, a seed won't sprout. Where do they bury the people these days? In the new cemetery? Uh, there's no such thing as your people anymore. Yours, ours, we all just people. What's past is past. So we're all buried together. Your rites are still different, though. Your kind must be buried in the morning, yes? Ah, uh, yes, I need to go. Goodbye. Uh, listen, are you planning to avenge your father? I need to find the murderer first. That's not your job. Uh, what do you mean? Cain is eager to condemn someone, Sabarov, to execute. I, however, will make sure we find the right person. Yes, the right one. The convenient right one. Thank you for the hospitality, but I need some damn food. Come on. Just about ready to turn off that hunger meter. It's annoying. Oh, hey. Food? Loot the food. No. Alright, well, next time maybe we'll find some food and not starve to death. So close. So close. And uh, maybe we'll find out where Laura went to. The son's fate is to avenge his father's death, but first I need to see the body. Crap. You know, his father starts at dawn, and I will not make it. It's all the way over there. Okay, well, next time we go to the funeral, and then we go speak to, uh, Lginsky's heir. And then maybe we'll take some Twirine and see, you know, just freak out for a little bit.